All right, this one might be tricky due to limited space, but we're going to give it a try. Today I want to take a look at Masked Rider Knight, or Kamen Rider Knight, from Kamen Rider Ryuki. More specifically, his contract monster, Darkwing. I have here three different variations of Darkwing and or Knight, the most recent being the SH Figure Arts version. Also the Sochaku Henshin Mirror Monster set that features Knight, or rather Darkwing, and the monsters from two other writers that we're not going to talk about. And the Rider and Monster series with Knight and Darkwing. Um, I think it's a pretty obvious to say that the figure arts version is going to be the best, being the most expensive one. Um, but they, they each have their individual merits. Let's take a look first at the Rider Monster one. Really quick, here's this box. Um, not particularly thrilling, I don't care. Gives you a quick view of what the figure can do, um, which was more actually than I expected. Um, let me open him and we'll take a look at it. And now with Knight and Darkwing out of the box. Um, you can see all of it right here. It comes with a cape and it, already it has the Darkwing head and the look of his tail connects to his back so you can have the cape on uh, for is it Advent? I don't remember. Um, it includes a little holster for his sword I don't remember what they call that either, the vent device. Um, due to the grip of the sword, you can actually wedge it into his, wedge his fingers in there, and he holds it very, very tightly and securely. So that's great. It, it's a fairly basic but decently poseable toy. Um, but I didn't really buy it for Knight. I bought it for Darkwing. Darkwing is pretty simple in a lot of ways. Um, I've really got to figure out the lighting on these videos, don't I? Uh, where'd the tail go? <clears throat> it also comes with his tail, which doubles as the sword vent. Plug it in right like that, and there we have Darkwing. Um, it's not bad. It's got um, almost all of the same joints and articulation points that the figure arts version has, um, although a little less less mobility to to a lot of the to the joint positions. But like the cape, it can attach to Knight's back for maybe this is admin mode. I don't remember. Connect the feet to the sides of his belt, and then the sword holster can peg onto the side of that, although it keeps falling off every time I try and use it. Um, his tail fell off. And now Knight has a cool bat to fly him around. You can also close up into what I imagine is guard vent mode. I don't think I've seen this happen yet in the series where I am, but you can kind of close it up on him. And there's that. That's pretty much all there is to this Rider and Monster series, Knight and Darkwing. But, you know, not bad, and it was super, super, super cheap on Mandarake. I think it was like it may not even have been ten dollars, all said. Um, but yeah, and I'll be right back with the Sochaku Henshin Mirror, Mas Mirror Monsters set version. Sochaku Henshin version is the one I was actually most looking forward to getting um, to compare against the figure arts. My first exposure to the Sochaku Henshin line was the Kiva figures. 
Kiva's regular four forms have only so far been released in the Sukchaku Henshin line, not in SH Figure Arts. And they were some of the last figures released in that line before it was ended and reworked and relaunched as SH Figure Arts. <clears throat> they are quite close to Figure Arts in quality, in posability. Uh, so I expected these to be. I expected this Sochaku Henshin Dark Wing to be a bit better than the Rider and Monster series. Not quite as good as the Figure Arts version. Um, but I am pretty disappointed. It is the exact same figure as the Rider and Monster. I don't know how much you can tell from having to sit there, but it is the exact same thing down to the. It comes with the same sword vent, or so, yeah, sword vent that you stick in attached to the back part of his tail to be a stinger, I guess. It's exactly the same. I'm not even sure that it's decoed any differently. Uh, maybe not a glossy blue on his head like the other one is, but the back is pretty glossy. So that's pretty disappointing, actually. I did expect it to be closer to the figure arts one. Um, I know the Deno series is also as good as the Kiva series, fairly close to figure art style, but I've heard that the older series are not as good, but I don't have any of the older ones, such as the Ryuki figures. So that's kind of disappointing, but, oh well, I've got the other two monsters too. I do think the Sochaku Henshin Mirror Monster sets are kind of a nice way to get the all the Mirror Monsters until they are released in figure arts form. Here is the figure arts Darkwing. Um, comes with a great little stand that has Kamen Rider Knight's logo on the base. Um, let's bring Knight in really quick so you can see him next to this other one. He is a little bit bigger. Certainly much, 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 much more poseable. His sword vent is better because it opens in a very fiddly way. I think I actually have a card in there. I did, and it fell out. Let's see, there you go, the light. I don't know which direction it goes, but... The SH Figure, figure Arts figures come with a few of their little advent cards and their advent visors all function the way they do in the show. Um, so that's nice. Let's take his tail. That will be Darkwing's stinger or whatever. As you can see, it's bigger. It's not a glossy blue. I don't know if you can tell that in this poor lighting setup. It's still, it's a much better, beautiful silver, sharper. It's it's a lot more poseable. Uh, the Primitive version only has a hip joint on the leg. This one has hip joint, knee joint, and ankle joints, and the claws are very sharp and pointy, and I like that. The wing articulation is the same. Two hinges and the swivel. Um, the head articulation is much improved. There's a ball joint there at the bottom of the neck and a hinge at the top. Uh, it actually might rotate on that hinge as well. Plus his mouth is a little bit articulated. It's kind of hard to work on mine. I don't know if you can see it at all, but his mouth opens a little bit and it's even painted red inside there. I'll have to figure out how to get better lighting in here someday. Um, my only problem with this, his ears are painted silver. My only problem with SH Figure Arts Darkwing is that the only way I've figured out how to attach it to the stand, or the way I want to, is with this little peg hole, but that's where his stinger goes. Or the tip of his tail, whatever this is actually called. So you have to use the C-clip on the stand if you want to have the stinger attached to it. Uh, that kind of disappoints me. There is a little joint up in there, or socket, where the handle plugs into, but it's larger than these pegs, so it doesn't attach very snugly. I, mean, I guess it kind of works. 
but it's loose and if you don't have the angle right then it's just gonna fall off so I like him being more snugly on there so I will do use it without the the sword vent so he, he can keep the exact position I put him in rather than trying to use the c-clip because I don't like those as well either they just don't feel like they hold on snugly enough and I don't want this falling this is a great great little uh, mirror monster I I am definitely going to be buying all of the figure art Ryuki figures and their contract monsters as they are released or as I am able to um, it's great that Knight and Darkwing come together but it's also a little more expensive than your standard figure art um, but it's worth it it's definitely worth it it is one of the better ones my second biggest complaint is that there's not an extra head chest piece to attach the cape to Knight you actually have to take this off and put in a little another little piece that connects the two so you can have Darkwing looking over Knight's shoulder and have the cape on or do the final vent attack but then you can't display Darkwing or it looks kinda silly if you do um, I really wish they had given an extra one of these extra head piece for Darkwing so that you could display the full monster and have him in, attached tonight sure it's not accurate but that would be better in my opinion um, but the Sochako Henshin set is well I guess it depends on if you're interested in the other two monsters the Phoenix I believe that is and whatever the heck there Phoenix there whatever the heck that thing is um, Biogrisa these are fairly cheap on Mandarake um, they're pretty expensive on eBay, but if you can get them from Mandarake used, they're not bad. Um, I have four out of the five sets. Uh, I just wanted to have a way to get the contract monsters while I'm waiting for the figure arts to be released and waiting to afford them. Uh, the one I'm missing has Zolda's contract monster, which is actually the one I want the most, but is also the one that's going to be released next in figure arts form, so I won't be too upset if I can't find set five. Uh, this one is also not terrible since it's the same SH or so Chaco Henshin version, and since it was so cheap. If you want a cheap alternative to SH Figure Arts Knight and Darkwing, you can go with the Rider and Monster series. Again, those are pretty pricey on eBay, but if you can find it on Mandarake, I don't think the price will be bad. Like I said, I think mine was ten dollars or maybe even a little less. So, thusly ends this little comparison between the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Knight and Darkwing and Rider and Monster Series Darkwing and Knight. Thanks for watching.